Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Edith and I am with Earth Crystals Con Amor. Today I have a reading for you guys uh, to pick a crystal. So focus on the crystal. Follow your intuition. It won't do you wrong. If you're called to pick more than one, then so it is. But I trust and I know that your intuition has led you here because there is a message for you. The first option, it's the double aragonite. The second option, it's candle quartz. And the third option, it's optical calcite. You can pick by thinking one, two, or three, or again, aragonite, candle quartz, or optical calcite. The messages that I am going to be bringing to you today are messages that you are meant to hear right now. My intention with this reading is to bring you any messages from your guides, your angels, your ancestors, your higher self of what messages it is that you need to hear. So I want to clear the energy a bit. I'm going to do it three times, and I just want you to take a deep breath in. Let it out. Again, another deep breath in. Let it out. And one more. Deep breath in. And let it out. I trust that the messages that you are meant to hear or need to hear will come for you. Thank you for trusting in my magic. Thank you for your support. If you are interested in more of a private reading, I will leave my information down below where you can contact me. Thank you and have an amazing day. So, if you picked option one, which is the double cluster aragonite, there's definitely healing going on. To me, the first thing and the energy that I feel behind this crystal, it's definitely heart healing. I keep seeing this image of you taking a leap of faith. So I really feel like your guides and angels are saying, follow your heart. It won't do you wrong. I feel like you keep questioning and asking for signs and your guides and angels are saying no you know the answer. If you follow your heart, it won't do you wrong. I also feel for this pile, it's like you need to find that balance within um, of a lot of times, maybe just getting these thoughts in your head, which would at times can be a little bit more negative, but I feel like my guides and angels are bringing that up because you can control that and you have the ability to manifest much more if you go deep within your thoughts, right? If you honor um, those fears that keep coming up. Of course, it is. this is a general reading, so I'm not gonna pick up on your energy specifically, but I trust that you came here for a message. So whatever resonates, please take it with you, and whatever does not resonate, don't try to make it fit. Don't overthink that either, um, because that's that's not gonna help, right? I also feel that for a lot of you guys, if you're questioning a love relationship, there is a need for you to step back and take a look at what really is um, the truth. I keep hearing like what really is the answers. So I trust that's coming up for a reason. It, it is a, a reading of whatever messages are meant to come out. So I'm not going to focus on a specific topic. I'm just going to allow our guides, our angels to connect and bring you the messages that you're meant to hear. I'm going to start with the modern spiritual Latin oracle from my soul sister, Jasmine. I love it. The energy in this deck is amazing. If you haven't gotten one, I highly recommend it. I keep seeing the Bruja card come out um, in this deck. And to me, that's like also stepping out um, in something that you believe in that maybe a lot of people might not see yet. Right, And it doesn't necessarily have to be in the spiritual world or a bruja, but I feel like it's something 
um, that people are not expecting out of you and that your guides and angels are saying it's okay take that leap of faith as long as you follow your heart then the right you know opportunities will come and I trust that's coming out for a reason two came out for you phoenix rising and divine intervention trusting the universe is needed wait more is happening behind the scenes you see there's a lot more that's happening i love love this beautiful card a big vortex that's open up opening up that's the image that i see of new surprises of new ideas and you're evolving like that flower you're, you're becoming you're working on becoming the best version of yourself phoenix rising offerings shape-shifting clearing generations journey into the dark journey into the dark to sing with ancestors your ancestors are really stepping in and i feel like the energy that they're bringing into the reading it's like an inspiring i feel like they're also inspiring you to do just something different inspiring you to follow your heart and just believe in a lot of what you're you see i keep seeing that like it's an image or a goal more than only you're seeing at the moment and that's okay don't allow fear to hold you back or the belief that um, I just I, I just don't know what people will think of me. No. Allow yourself to be you. Share your magic. As soon as I turn this around, that's the first thing I heard. And if your intuition led you to come here, it's for a reason, right? You're you're questioning this, you're wondering this as well. Don't don't get into this energy of thinking, I can't do it, I won't do it. No, if you've if you've seen other adventures or other um, leaps of faith that you've taken and they haven't worked out, or maybe you've never taken a leap of faith because you just think it's not going to work out. I feel like your guides are speaking very heavily and saying that's not true. Look, uh, ancestors and family cultures. To me in this deck, that's my ancestors deck. Double confirmation. I feel like your ancestors, loved ones, grandparents are like showing up and saying like, honor our culture that's something that i feel like we'll call you within time but they're coming through to say um we're here to guide you you're also doing something again that's out of the norm teamwork this is i feel like as soon as i turn this around is like be kind work with others to make the situation come about i feel like you're having people also that are coming into your life to help you to offer you support and what you're wanting to do and manifest. I also feel like, um, you know, if it is something with like career change for you, that will happen in time. My guides keep saying like, don't focus only on finances or worrying if it's going to work out financially. Because that's not meant to happen at the moment. You're meant to be the best version of yourself, whatever that means. I feel like you're you're also trying to convince others of like what you want to do or what you've been thinking of doing. And your guides are coming through in this reading and saying, no, why are you trying to convince others? The right people will come. There are people that you also need to cut ties with. I feel like you're also sometimes very kind to people and that's not a bad thing. But it's, it's, it is a bad thing when you're not speaking up. I feel like that's a thing that is coming up for you. You need to use your voice. Blessings. Yes. Yes. Trusting the universe. Again, another confirmation, right? There's blessings. More is happening behind the scenes. That to me is blessings. But you know when that blessing is going to happen? When you take that leap of faith. Look at Ganesha. 44 is a powerful number. If you're called to look up the angel number 44, you should. Maybe you are also seeing 444. Maybe you've been seeing the number four a lot. Trust your intuition. There is a need for you to um, step up. I, I feel like speak up for yourself and just honor who you are as well. Spiritual quest. Finding yourself. Remember that Bruja card I kept saying that I was seeing? Look, another four. 444. Four, four. Look up the meaning for 444. Four, four. Something with a four is calling you here. You're also working on something more stable in your life. That's what four is all about in numerology. Where do you want to go? I feel like my guides are saying, ask them. Ask them where do they want to go. Not where do people want them to go. Where do they want to go? And tell them to take you there. 
Have you guys been meditating? I feel like for this pile with my guides saying, tell them to take you there. It's like you take yourself there through meditation. Manifest that. Go into a meditation and go in with that intention. Like, this is where I see myself in the next month, in the next year, whatever it is. And manifest that. Be in the moment. Excuse me. Be in the moment. Honor your journey as well. I feel like my guides keep saying, like, if you go within and you just honor who you are and continue to move forward, all of the right opportunities will come for you. There, there's no doubt about that. Just trust your intuition as well. Um, there is a need for you to take also action um, with people that that, that are, you're holding on to and they're just negative. No, let them go. Wow. Expecting miracles. Blessings. Something behind the scenes, right? Again, triple confirmation and then cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. That is a double, triple confirmation. A lot of you guys right now are starting something new or will just start something new. I don't feel like this pile is someone that's doing this like full time or doing it more. I feel like it's more in the sense of you're just starting or you're going to start soon. I keep seeing three months. My guy's showing me a calendar and focusing on the next three months. To me, that's like stay focused in the next three months you have a shift. Bottom of the deck. Embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. Taking that leap of faith, right? And just trusting the universe. I feel like you already know um, what it is that you want to do. And look, flying free under that. Freedom. Finding who you want to be, not what people want you to be, not what people think you should be, not, oh, it's because, um, you know, if I take that leap of faith, but now I have to tell my family why I left that nine to five job. Like, no, as long as that works for you and that's what you want to do, that's all you have to worry about. Trust your intuition. I feel like you're questioning that and you're also giving your power away to others. I wasn't going to say that and that came out, so it was definitely a message that you needed to hear who, who are you giving your power away to that at times they're just also putting a stop to your dreams or i feel like that's also something you're healing from i feel like it's like a childhood um like trauma or belief also of like i just i don't think i'll make it i don't think i can honor myself you know i don't no 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 one of the biggest messages you need that I want you to take and the message that I'm getting for this pile, it's definitely trust in your intuition, trust in that mission that you want to accomplish. Forgiveness, forgive others, right? That healing you're doing from your childhood, your teenage years, whatever age it was when people came into your life and they didn't believe in you. And that's when they planted that seed of fear of taking leaps of faith. Let go of that. It, it's no longer serving you. Vision. Yes, yes. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. That's all you focus on, and that's a great thing. I feel like your guides are honoring that and saying, like, you're an amazing soul. You're, you're very forgiving as well, but you need to start by forgiving yourself and talking to that younger child of you and connecting with her or him and saying, I forgive you for that part of the life where I didn't trust in you. I didn't believe in you where I stopped you. However, now I am ready. That that's, that's a big thing. Bottom of the deck, spontaneity. You moved beyond the cons constraints of the mind and freely and loving embrace new situations, new opportunities, new blessings are coming into your life. And I feel like your guides and angels are saying, yes, absolutely. There's like a, a, a male energy. I feel like that guides you as well. Could be a father, a grandfather. Could it be just an ancestor. But I keep feeling the energy of a male. Let's see. For my Aragonite pile, what other messages do you have for them? I keep seeing you go on a trip. Like it's like a pool... Maybe you're taking a trip in the next week or two or next three weeks, probably. Um, like a small little trip. Honor yourself. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself. You want other people to respect you. You need to think. 
You want other people to respect you when you need to respect yourself. I keep hearing from my guides, you need to set healthier boundaries with certain people. Some people only come to you when they need something. And my guides are saying, you, you, you can't allow that. Don't allow that. Ancestral wisdom. Mm. <laughs> you got ancestors three time. Honor them. If you don't have an altar for them, that's a powerful way to honor them. Is somebody thinking, I keep seeing an image of a tattoo, somebody getting a tattoo of an ancestor, of a loved one. I feel like if you're asking for confirmation or wondering, you definitely should. A child's love. Yes, I was channeling that. Honor that little girl in you that wants to come out and play and is ready to come out and play fearlessly. Absolutely. Hello from heaven. What did we just say? There is a loved one that's guiding you and protecting you. Pay attention to your dreams. I feel like the initial is like J. Um, I feel like their first name starts with a J. Could it be Jose? Um, but th th there's a message. I feel like they're also honoring like the transformation you're going through. Um, everything that's happening in your life, just honoring that. And I feel like you've also... My guides keep saying, like, honor your emotions. At times, you only know how to go, go, go. Take time for yourself. Ground your energy. Ground your energy. Go outside. Hug your tree. Allow your feet to touch the sand. Do something, though. I'm going to see from my chakra deck. What chakra um, comes to the attention? I keep seeing sacral, but let's see. Heart. Yes. Which this is a beautiful healing crystal makes sense why you're getting this heart chakra malachite if you have that crystal connect with it wow and look at this message again forgiveness you'll find freedom in forgiveness freeing yourself remember that deck um of flying free and look you'll find freedom in forgiveness forgive those people that are not in your life that you've had to let go and that you were very attached to whether it's a love partner, a family member, a friendship. But it's time for you to let them go and you fly free. Cut that cord I keep seeing from my guides. I just looked at the time at 1444. And remember we were talking about 444 for you. Right? Mm, synchronicities. I really hope this resonates. Please just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I offer these on my Instagram. If you love crystals like I do, they're beautiful. They're beautifully sourced. If you're interested in more of a personal reading or you just want to hear a positive daily message, that's part of my goal. And I try to share that on my Instagram. So I hope you follow me there. I hope you share some love and magic and honor your healing. Take that leap of faith. Blessings. Hello. So if you picked candle quartz, which is a beautiful rare crystal that I recently found, it's so beautiful. It's so unique. And I feel like the energy that I'm getting behind this crystal and the message for your option, it's like healing. There's healing definitely happening for you. I keep envisioning like a heart healing, um, honoring your journey in your path. I feel like for this option too, there's an ending that recently happened. If it hasn't, then there's an ending that needs to happen. That you know it's something that you've been holding on to. That it no longer serves you. And I feel like if you already, you know, let go of that relationship or that face of your life that no longer serves you. It's for a reason. And you're ready for more. You're ready to receive what's new for you. There's a new beginning for this option as well. I feel like there's there's a need for you to be in solitude as well, to find yourself, to honor yourself. And it's it's amazing because this crystal, it's all about envisioning, right? Having this crystal, it's such a powerful crystal that it it, it helps you with manifesting the impossible. You connect with it, it allows you to bring that into your energy, into your world, into your universe. Why am I sharing that? Because I, there's a reason why you picked this crystal. You're ready for more. And your guides are here to say, yeah, you're ready for more. But are, can you see that vision? I feel like other people believe in you 
more than you believe in yourself at times. And your guides and angels are saying, no, how are you going to get there? We're wanting to take you, but you're, you're just not allowing us to take you there. Honor your journey. Honor who you are as well. Why are you doubting that journey of yours? There's a need for you to stop making excuses. What are you making excuses to that you're holding on to? I feel like my guides are saying, that's not going to take you nowhere. I'm going to start with using the modern spiritual Latin oracle. Latina Oracle, I'm sorry, by my soul sister, Jasmine. If you don't follow her, you should. I'm going to tag her. Um, but she's a beautiful soul out here from LA. Let's see. I also feel like if somebody in this pile is questioning, like, the move of states or, like, move of country or county, a, 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 more of a bigger move, I feel like it is a yes. Like, trust your intuition. And it is time... Oh, your cards want to speak fast today it is time for you to go high priestess yes look at that full moon connect with the full moon we just had a new moon look at how pretty this card is but we just had a new moon next full moon will be in the next two weeks work with the magic of the moon clear and uh clear cognizant inner knowing wise woman blood moon intuition and a womb wisdom maybe this pile you're also wondering I, I, as soon as I, I i read the end of it i heard wood wisdom repeat and repeat repeat maybe you're wondering can that be something that i can do and yes i feel like for this pile also you're picking a career or something different like out of i keep hearing from my guides like out of this ball game something that you didn't even think you could ever do but you're ready for that you're ready for more there's a there's a change coming for you in careers um but a good change i feel like you're ready for something different uh maybe you're already um thinking about it goddess wow these are very two powerful cards that i would define them very similar a wise woman express your divine feminine Energy embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Intuition and intuition. Can't make that up. You need to follow your intuition. You're wanting to stay in a place just because it feels comfortable. My guides are saying no. It can't, it shouldn't just feel comfortable, and that's why you're staying. You should be in a place that makes you happy. But you're staying in places that don't even make you happy. They just feel like they're gonna make you happy, but they're not. Honor who you want to be. Make that move. Look at the bottom of the deck. Law of attraction. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. Yeah, there's change, right? We just talked about that. But you have the ability to manifest. What is it that you're holding on to as well? I feel like my guides are like, ask them that. What are they holding on to? Why are they holding on to something so strongly? thinking that they need to stay there you don't need to stay there you need to go that's what you need to do you need to manifest and trust your intuition it's like what keeps keeps holding you in a place that you're you, i feel like for a lot of you guys in this pile like you've stayed in a place that has been comfortable but not good comfortable it's like hindered your growth comfortable and my guides are saying so so what else are you gonna do how, how much longer are you gonna stay Let's see. Goddess of time. Wisdom Lake Queen. Celebrate the creative feminine energy and the vitality of life. Conquer ignorance and delusion through helping others. Kali. And I want to say Yeshi. It's a beautiful, um, I want to say it's a Hindu deck, this, but I, I'm always called to like Indian stuff, Hindu stuff. And I know I have a past life connection with that. There's a reason why I picked that deck. Connect with other versions of you. Have you ever had, I don't know why this is coming through, but if you've ever had a past life reading, I feel like something with your past life is trying to connect with you now. You know, it is a general reading, so of course I'm not going to connect with each one of you guys that pick on this pile. But I trust that your intuition led you here to receive a message. So take what resonates. What doesn't resonate, leave it. You know, don't make something, don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit. I, I trust that's coming through for a reason. So just honor that. 
but I also feel like I feel like my guides are all, are saying um, allow yourself to connect with your other self. So three, three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine, forty. The number four. I don't know why they made me add that up. Four is all about stability. Um, your foundation. Honor that. It's like where is it that um that you see yourself in the next year or two? Why are you staying in a place that you don't even see yourself in the next year or two? It's just like paying the bills or something. Um, and my guides are saying no. And that and you can apply that not just in career, but in a home situation. Maybe you're just comfortable living with family or roommates, but you have the ability to move out by now. And your guides are saying, Why are you staying there? You can't be yourself, you can't atreverte, you can't do all these things that you want to do. You're just staying. No, honor who you're meant to be and continue to move forward. Love is coming out. Change at the bottom of the deck. Allow this change to happen. Heart healing, right? This is what candle quartz is all about. Powerful crystal. Can't make it up, right? The cards, the crystal, everything connects. There's a reason for that. There needs to be love that happens more within. Self-love. That way the people that you're trying to attract in your life can be right for you. Follow your intuition. Wow. Which you got intuition already. Creativity to me. That's what orange is all about. Be patient with your journey. Be patient on where you're trying to go in life. Are you just... Um, and my guides are like, they're just, they're just doing things because like, I, I feel like sometimes you're just like bored and, and you do actions or you, not that it's a bad thing. Cause you need to take, you know, time for yourself and honor yourself. But I feel like at times you're not even doing anything for yourself. You're just doing it because other people told you you should. And it, there's just something spirituality as well. Like honor your spiritual growth. Honor how much you've done in the last year. I feel like you're not giving yourself credit a lot of times of your journey. My guides keep saying that. Like, honor yourself in the journey that you're in right now. You know, all of the abundance that you're trying to receive, it's like, it's all coming for you at the right time. But I, I also feel like at times you, you lose focus because it, it's just not happening fast enough. And I feel like my guides are saying, that's not how life is. That's, that's not how it works. These three jumped out for you. It's one of my newer decks. Um, but I feel called to work with this one for you guys. So I'm going to honor it. Spider at the bottom of the deck. Honor the growth. Maybe you have been seeing more spiders. There's a meaning behind it. Look up the spiritual meaning behind that. There's more for you there. I feel like my guides and angels are also like honoring the growth that you've done. But they're also saying like it is time for you to do more. It, it, it's like you're comfortable and, and that's great. But you're meant to do much more. You're not meant to stay in a place just because it makes you feel comfortable. No. And I also feel like you need to set boundaries with certain people. Sometimes people come and look for you because they just want, want, and want. No. Spiders all about focus, planning, digesting. Yes, honor that, believe that. I feel like also your guides are saying in the growth that you've been through, it's for a reason. Now step into your power. The hedgehog, hiding the heart. You're not honoring your emotions. Again, about your heart. It's like, I'm, I'm also hearing from my guides, like honor your path to be your path, the dark and humanity. To me with the hedgehog and them saying like, honor your path, it's like you're doing a lot of healing and you're, you're on that healing journey to find you, the best version of you, whatever that means to you. Just be patient, honor that as well. I feel like my guides are saying sometimes um, you, you tend to, and we're human, I know that, but you tend to, try to compare your journey to other people my guides are like that's no you don't know what they really go through you you only know what people want you to know honor that and why are you staying in places just because why are you even letting people convince you of what you should be doing i feel like that's another thing like at times you're asking for confirmation from other people living in the dark it says for this card intensity 
What are you what are you hiding behind everything that wants to grow and manifest? It's like you have I keep getting this image of like a third eye. You have the ability to do so much more with yourself. Humanity. Who we are. Redemption. Growth. Again, to me, growth. Peacocks, to me, always represents like better times ahead also. Honor that. Allow your... I just looked at the time at 1222. There is a message for you behind that. Look up that angel number if you're called to. It's like, honor your journey. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're already in this journey of like, I, I you know, I'm finding me. I'm, and and maybe some people that you, you, you find them and they're like, hey, how come you haven't got married? Or why haven't you bought a house? Or why haven't you guys had a kid? Or why didn't you finish college? And then you get all this pressure. And my guys are saying like, kill them with kindness. Talk to them with kindness and walk away. That's part of also setting boundaries or not letting people serve these goals on you or like want you to live their life. No, breaking barriers. Yes, again, another tree. You can't make that up. Simplifying your life, letting go of people, situations, clutter that no longer serves you. You serve yourself, your energy, and you're ready to embark. My guides keep saying like, Vámonos. You're ready. Let's go. Proceeding softly and patience to me, same thing, right? Again, confirmation. My inner power grows in moments of quiet, quiet, quietitude. Remember, that alone time, there's a need for you to go within. Find you. This table only has a serving for one. Don't be scared to eat alone. Don't be scared to do things alone for a moment. Finding yourself, self-love. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Healing, healing your heart, honoring who you are, honoring who you're becoming. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I always talk about self-love. Self-love is one of my true callings in this lifetime to find my love myself, teach others how to love themselves, help others. Um, but I know that's coming up. I'm so passionate about that topic, so I, I can talk about it for years, but. There's a reason why all these cards have a connection, right? What are you going to take out of this? Honor that. Trust your intuition. I see only beauty and grace. Rising. You're evolving. You're taking that. You're making that decision of letting go of the old, right? A new rebirth I keep seeing for you. And just honor that. And go. Evolve. Manifest. See for my option number two. What are the last messages you have for them? If you feel really called, I, crystals are my other love. <laughs> the reason why er, there's earth crystals con amor, right? But I started recently selling crystals and I've been thankful to find very rare, beautiful crystals. Um, and if you're called because you picked this option or any of the crystals that I mentioned on today's reading, um, you can find them on my Instagram. If not, just follow your intuition. Go to the store or to your local shop or wherever you're called to. Because I'm a believer that crystals will find us as well. Um, but that again, that's me. That's my love for crystals. Live life, I keep hearing for you. Trust the divine plan. Accept what is dying at the bottom of the deck. Let go. Let go. Walk away from that. It's no longer serving you. Reach for the stars. Whatever that means to you, you're reaching for it. Retreat. Honor you. Trust the plan. There's a bigger plan. There's a message behind this. You're going to connect it. Claim your art. Express your joy. This is what this is all about. Rising above. Right? Claim who you are. Who you're wanting to be. And evolve. Don't question that. Don't, don't doubt that. You're meant to do more. I really hope this resonates. Thank you for trusting in my magic and blessings. So this is for Pio number three. If you picked optical calcite, the energy that I feel behind this, it's like you're really starting to see things more clear. I feel like things that were hidden before, they're really coming out to light. I also feel like you're very encouraged by your guides to pay attention to a lot of the signs that you've been ignoring. Um, and just trust in your intuition. I feel like that's another big thing that your guides keep talking about 
it just honor who you are becoming, I feel. I feel for a lot of you guys, you recently took a leap of faith. And my guides are saying like, you are, tell them they're on the right track. Maybe this is something you needed to hear. Maybe you came here to get a confirmation, am I on the right track? And your guides and angels are saying, yes, you are. And just honor that. Be okay with being yourself. Trust your intuition. I feel like at times you might want to take, um, you know, you want to talk to others about like visions you have, but then you hold yourself back. I feel like my guys are saying, no, why? Continue. Speak about those weird things that people think are weird. Speak about those topics that other people won't talk about. But you're meant to talk about them. I feel like you're, you're, you're using a lot of your throat chakra. And continue to use it. I feel like part of your soul calling is to like shake up the world with new things, new topics. Just making people really step into their power and be honest of what they want to do i'm going to start with a card from the modern spiritual latina oracle by my soul sister jasmine i love the energy in this deck but let's see for optical calcite and you know this crystal it's an amazing crystal for manifestation learning it, it makes sense why you picked this pile, right? You re recently started something new. You're going to start something new. There's a lot of knowledge that you're going to be taking. Honor that. Believe in that. And this, I love this crystal too because this crystal helps you with aligning yourself in your path, in your journey. And the messages that I'm channeling, it's without me even remembering of what this is all about. But there's a reason, again, why you picked that crystal, right? You're also ready to learn more. I feel like if you're not learning like different topics or subjects right now, your guys are really encouraging you. Continue to do that. You're transforming into your true life purpose. You're stepping into that. Wow. You are a big moon energy. Connect with the moon, honey. There was just a new moon two days ago. You got new moon and luna llena. Pay attention to your cycles. Pay attention to the energy within you. There's new beginnings. Integration. A rebirth that's happening for you. Yes. There's a reason why you picked to this option. There's a reason why you picked crystals. I am a believer of crystals. I love crystals. That's why I'm earth crystals con amor, right? Um, but I'm so passionate about uh crystals and the magic that comes with it and I, I trust why I use them in my readings as well because I feel like they ignite the power in my card so uh, a little pep talk <laughs> but yes just trust uh, the next full moon will be within the next two weeks so work with the moon honor the moon even if you just set up a candle um do a ritual whatever you're called to do just do it honor that you you're a very um like motivated person like Virgo season is around the corner you're 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 like being ignited like pushed by your guides to be like vamonos you're ready you're ready solitude maybe you have been spending a lot of time alone and that's okay it won't be forever and if not I really feel like your guides and angels are encouraging encouraging for that to happen because you're meant to do more and you're figuring out a lot of things yourself. Yeah, trust there's a divine plan. Take a risk. Venture forward. You're questioning, should I start this now? Am I ready to start this now? Yeah, you are. You, you, you've been getting the signs. And your guides are saying, you came here for confirmation. You're on the right path. You're ready to do something different. Bottom of the deck, you stand in the light of truth. People are going to come and follow and believe in your journey. You're not going to need to look for people. That's going to make sense to a lot of you guys. And that's going to click. My guides are like, say that to them. Again, you're not going to have to look for people. They're going to look for you. And that's in a very humbled and kind way. You bring a lot of kindness, gentleness. And continue to follow your heart. You're discovering who you are. You're discovering your truth. 
A lot of miracles, blessings are happening for you. Absolutely, a lot of blessings. And I feel like my guides and angels are saying, yeah, continue to manifest. Continue to believe in who you are and who you're, um, who all this work that you've been putting in for has been for for yourself you you've become this real soul manifester but also you've really honored a lot of your healing i feel like your guides are also honoring like your healing journey and they're saying yes 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 you are ready to do more maybe you're investing in a business or maybe you're also um something with finances and it'll work out um just remember whatever you're doing it's something that you want to do that you you love not what other people are telling you to do no what you love look at the bottom of the deck another moon connect with the moon and integrity you into your path again another path alone right but it won't be for long it's an amazing powerful path that you're making the the, the way there you're you're finding yourself you're completing yourself and you're really honoring who you are. You have a past life connection with a lot of what you're doing now. Maybe you have got, look, another moon. <laughs> uh, maybe you have gotten a reading. And this is, again, another confirmation. Like, you've done this before. That's why a lot of things at times you're doing and you're like, wow, this feels familiar. Like, I, I, I just don't know why I feel like this. You've done this before. Honor that. Believe in that. If you haven't been meditating, I feel like you should. Meditate, honor your journey. Are you questioning something about a love relationship? I feel like this person will come to you when they're ready. And they're doing a lot of transformation and like soul healing. So I trust that's coming out for a reason. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it go. This is a general reading, so I can't pick up on the energy of each one of you guys that will pick this pile. So I always want to make sure you're aware of that. But I trust and I know that your intuition led you here for a message or messages. So whatever message is for you, take it. Take it. Heart and mind balance. You're finding that balance, that union within, that infinity sign, right? And you honoring your heart, loving yourself. I feel like that's another big journey you've really embarked into. And your guides and angels are saying like, yeah, we see that. You're, you're amazing. You're, you're, you're doing a lot of great things for, for yourself, for the community, for others. Continue. Don't, don't, don't stop. Don't stop living your dreams. Don't stop being the best version of yourself as well. Are you questioning something? I feel like my guys are calling me to work with my answers deck. So why don't you focus on a question? Focus on a question. And I keep feeling it's a yes within time. So I feel like it's yes. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness, communicate clearly and compromise. Get more information, whatever you're questioning. Forgiveness, forgive yourself, forgive others. Forgiveness is another big thing that you've been working on. And it's something that you're going to always continue to preach about and do as well. Continue to use your voice. We were saying that earlier, right? Whatever you're questioning, I feel like in time, yes. Right now you're learning about that. You, um, look, when I cut the deck, yes. So I feel like it's a yes, whatever you're questioning, but you just need to find out more information. You just need to trust your intuition as well, I feel. One more card. Not the right time right now, no. And it's all up to you. It's all gonna happen in divine timing. It is a yes, but not right now. I, I feel like you know that already. Just give it time. Give it time and allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to receive the messages that you're meant to receive in divine timing. I feel like that's another big message that's also coming through. And your guides are saying, like, just honor the intuition. Honor who you're meant to be. I feel like you've been doing a lot of inner work and your guides and angels are saying, yeah, you, you deserve all this, all this blessings that are pouring into your life you've really been working for all this and you you deserve it maybe you're questioning like man am i supposed to do all this am i really you know i feel like a blessing is also coming for you and your guides and angels are saying yes that, that much more is coming you don't even know what's coming i keep seeing you guys 
working like me with like a meetup around people. Maybe that's something big you're doing next. Focus on service. Follow your heart. Honor your heart. See, only with love. To me, this is all about forgiveness. You've really been honoring your child, your inner child healing. Continue to do that. I keep seeing you write a letter. I feel like it's like an inner child healing. And your guides are saying like, yes, connect with yourself, evolve, manifest. Allow yourself to transform and love who you are. It's like you're on the right track for a reason. Like all of these lessons that have happened for you, it's for a reason. Two came out, but I want to honor one more. Believe. Believe in the impossible. I feel like this is like your soul reviving. And your guide's saying, yes, you are. You're reviving to the best version of yourself. You're, go you're a goddess, I keep hearing. Whatever that means in a very humbled way, you're a very humbled person. I feel like my guides are saying like sometimes, you know, you do really badass great things and you don't even give yourself credit for that. So power, so purpose, evolving. Yes, that's so powerful. Caregiver. I feel like with this, it's like you're, you're a very loving, giving, genuine person, but don't forget to find that balance, right? I feel like for you guys also, a lot of what your guides are saying, it's like ground your energy, but also remember who you are. I keep getting called the attention to this card. And to me, this is like, you know, like your guides and angels calling you back, like ground your energy, believe in what you're doing. I feel like that's important. Not that you don't believe in what you're doing, but your guides and angels just trying to continue to keep you focused, right? Trying to continue to encourage you that you are on the right path and you're doing what you're meant to do. I feel like if anything, you you believe deeply of what you're doing. And I feel like your guides and angels are saying like what you're doing, it's, it's going to bring blessings, but it's more. It's like a soul reward for you. Like I really feel for this pile, you're really in a journey where you're really finding yourself. And again, that's all what optical calcite is about, right? It's like aligning with your path and believing in where you're going. I love crystals with a point too, um, because it's like you put the you put the intention, the direction towards something. Um, but I also feel like me saying that. Um, sorry, some of the cards jumped out. Me saying that it's like I really feel like now you know the direction that you're going towards. Two of the cards that fell out was delight and decision. Whatever the decision is that you're wanting to make or need to make on taking it a little bit further, I feel, or just you making a push for it, a push for the next big goal, like you manifesting something, it's going to come in a reward for you i keep seeing an image of you like celebrating something so that, that's a great thing i feel like in the next couple of months you will be very invested into like work and doing a lot of things for yourself and, and, and your business but it's all going to pay off you'll see the rewards in divine timing so I, I really trust that those messages are for you a lot of your cards are falling and i feel like that's definitely your guides also to me like the energy that i feel with your guides for today it's like they're very proud. These three came out four. And one of them came out five. Change, right? Allow yourself to receive. I, I, I feel like you're a very giving person. I feel like we've talked about this a little bit ago. Which is not a bad thing. But sometimes you don't want to receive from others. It's like you don't want to inconvenience people. And your guides are saying like be okay with that. And be okay with receiving as well. Um. I feel like you've been getting a lot of downloads or just information from your guides and they're like saying, yeah, you're on the right path. Like you're doing a lot for people and you're being um, like celebrated for that. I feel as well, like your, your guides are really thankful for that. Look, as we're saying that gratitude, right? Um, I feel like you have a very kind heart and your guides are saying like you, you're a, you're an amazing soul, but don't forget to reward yourself, right? And you got the reward card. <laughs> Don't forget to come through for you as well. Pay attention to your dreams. We were talking about this a bit ago, right? Your guides and angels are con connecting with you in many different ways. Just honor that. Continue to pay attention to that. Share your art with the world. Absolutely. That's what you're doing. That To me, this is like a rebirth. To me, I always see this as like 
somebody being rebirthed and that's you um for a lot of you if there's like a change in homes you're wondering you, you will you will vulnerability and nurture yourself we were just talking about that be kind with yourself treat yourself just like you give to others be okay with receiving from others be okay with being in this place right now also of you just absorbing a lot of information more will come in divine timing you're a very I, I feel like being vulnerable and honest and raw is something that you do really good and like your guides and angels are like encouraging you empowering you to continue to do that and just trust in your power trust in who you are and the amazing soul you're becoming we were just talking about trust right trust breathe in Breathe out, let go of doubt. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all happening for you. Nothing will not, nothing's not going to stop coming for you. You're on the right track. Continue to make love real through all your creative, through all you create. You have the Midas touch. The Midas touch? Not sure what Midas means. Um, but look, creative came out instead of create, right? You're very creative. So I feel like you always, like people always tell you this, like, oh my God, how did you see that? How did you have the eye for that? You just, you're a very good envisioner. Like you have this ability to see, some, somebody can see something and not see much out of it. And you're like, no, we could do so much. Like that's, that's, that's amazing. That's like your guide saying, yes, absolutely. You have an eye for, for a lot of very powerful, um, crown chakra keeps coming out that's like the messages that you receive from your guides and angels just continue to be open for that i feel like you are um sometimes you you wonder you know why aren't certain things happening but everything's gonna happen on divine timing all things work best in conjunction with all things there's a lot of great crystals here um recom being recommended fire agate for your sacral chakra and your chakra this is for all your chakras creation wow which right with create creation the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth which we were just saying that right i feel like the messages are repeating my guides have given you the message and i'm i trust and i know that the message that you came here with the intention to receive you have received so i'm grateful and thankful for the energy exchange thank you for trusting in my magic continue to believe in your journey don't stop don't stop. Um, and I'm saying that again. Don't stop. You're on the road to many more accomplishments. You're really opening the roads for other people. You're doing a lot of ancestral healing. Did you get your ancestors' cards? I don't think you did, but you, I keep seeing images of your ancestors. So honor that. Thank you again. And if you're interested in this crystal or any other crystals that I talk about, um, I offer them on my Instagram. I have a passion for them. Um, I offer other great, amazing goodies if you're called to purchase. If not, I thank you again for just your magic and for believing in my journey. Blessings.